What's up guys, today on JD Cars, we're gonna be decatting this BMW 328i with the N52 engine in it, of course. If you guys watched our last episode, Sam and I installed a valved muffler on the car here. Of course, that wasn't loud enough for us, so we're now gonna be decatting the secondary cat. Hopefully that's gonna make this thing scream. If not, we'll also do a res delete, and that'll definitely get the job done. So coming under the car here, for those of you who aren't familiar, we have the muffler all the way at the back, resonator right in the middle here, and then as we come up we have the secondary catalytic converters, and then the primary cats are up there. What we're basically going to be doing here today is chopping the cats, secondary cats out right along the existing weld here, um, or at least in that vicinity, and then same thing right on the back here. I'll just chop it there, remove them, remove the material inside here, and then we'll weld them back into place. Now, very important to note, you wanna draw a line across the area that you'll be cutting, and that's gonna allow you to line it up perfectly. So I'll basically just draw a line from like here to here, um, make my cut right in the middle of that line, and then we can line it back up when this is off the car and we're re-welding it. Um, of course, it is necessary to fully remove the exhaust system from the car so that we can weld all the way around the pipe. Um, now, moving up to the front here, as you can see, these exhaust flanges are extremely rusted. We cut off the two lower bolts and the top bolts, they're just, they're simply not coming off um, and we don't have any means to remove them. So. This is honestly so fused together, we're not even going to try to um, separate it at this point. And it just occurred to us, why don't we just chop the pipes right here and then use some two and a quarter band clamps to clamp it back together. So that's exactly what we'll be using. Um, it'll make the job a lot easier. So at this point, I'm just going to chop out the secondary cats. Remember to make that mark. Um, and then I'll make my cuts up here as well. Remove this section along with the secondary cats and the remainder of the exhaust. Right through the first one. Second cat out. Oh, yeah. So we basically, when we went to the hardware store, we got this really long one inch spade drill bit, went right through the thing. Um, we also got a hole saw kit, This is like 13 bucks, got a couple different sizes. I think the, uh, either the one and five eighths, I think it is, no, one and three quarter or two and one eighth. One of those will work well for this. But basically just trying to break up as much of that material as possible. Um, it's pretty interesting to see the inside of this. This is my first time seeing the inside of a catalytic converter, but it's basically just this really, it's this really fine honeycomb material, which filters um, all the gases coming out of your engine and obviously quiets down the car a ton. So it's gonna be really interesting to see this and hear this with no more cats. So we're gonna hollow these things out. Um, I've already cut up front, I can show you guys here. I've already cut two pipes here. Um, we're gonna remove this. I believe that's a E13 female torque socket to remove that. And then we have two probably 13 millimeters right here. I believe this is a 17 millimeter. Then just this one hanger in the rear. If you have a stock exhaust setup, you'll have another hanger all the way back towards the rear bumper. So we're gonna remove the entire exhaust system as I said lay it out, weld it up, and reinstall it. All right, so we just completely emptied this. It's hard to show you, but um, as you can see, there's nothing in there. This is what came out. Pretty interesting stuff, honeycomb stuff, and this is like insulation almost. So got all that out there. We're gonna do the other one off camera now and uh, we'll get welding. All right, so we got everything lined up under the car. We tacked it into place, pulled it out here, and I fully welded it up. Obviously, uh, you know, not my best work, but Sammy over there is getting what he's paying for, which is uh, $0. So, <laughs> so 
So we're gonna paint this up with some exhaust paint. Um, let it dry real quick while we grab some lunch and then we'll toss it in the car and see what it sounds like. All right, we're all done here. Exhaust back in the car. We have the valve hooked up again to the vacuum line and just for the purposes of seeing how exciting this is, we have the valve open. So, Sam, here we go. All right, so the decatting of the secondary cats on Sam's E92 with the N52 engine here is complete. We actually had to switch out the clamps that we used on those mid pipes. We had to switch them out to 55 millimeter clamps, despite reading on the forums that they're two and a quarter inch. They're definitely not two and a quarter inch. So if you're planning to go that route, if you don't want to deal with your flange bolts, then that is an option. Just be sure to get those 55 mil clamps. But anyways, gonna give you a comparison here of doing some pulls with the valves closed. So that's gonna be secondary cat delete and a valved muffler in the closed position. So the muffler will be functioning. And then we'll give you a valve open pull which is gonna be secondary cast deleted and basically a muffler delete because it's gonna be going straight through. Valves closed. Well guys, hopefully that give you a, well guys, hopefully <laughs> can't fucking talk. Well guys, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the car sounds like after doing a secondary cat delete and having a valved muffler on here. As you can hear, it's not tremendously loud. It's not crazy loud. Um, it definitely is much more noticeable outside the car opposed to in the cabin. But I think Sam is probably going to be opting for a res delete down the line here. But for now, this will be just fine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go smash that like button down below. Subscribe for more BMW content. And I'll see you guys next time on JD Cars.